dragon killed originated in China more than 3,000 years ago. It is an ingenious ancient Chinese invention. The kiln spread across South China, Korea and Japan during the Han Dynasty. Chinese immigrants brought the design to Southeast Asia including Singapore in the early 1900s. Mr. Tan Kim Se was born in Swa Tao, a porcelain village in China. He traveled to Singapore and bought the dragon kiln. Together with his five children and few workers, he started supplying pottery wares in the 1965. Dragon kiln was used to fire pottery wares such as latex cups for the rubber plantation, orchid pots for the nurseries, water jar for local consumer market. It is a rich history that illuminates just how much Tha Quan, and perhaps even the entire ceramic production industry. The dragon kiln consists of a long firing chamber built on a hill slope with various stoke holes on the side. It operates on the simple principle that hot air rises and so efficiently maximize the heat produced within the kiln. When the entire kiln is fired up, it flames, smoke rises and bellows hence the name dragon kiln. Tao Quan Dragon Kiln, which is 27 meters long was built in 1944. It is made up of a front firing chamber known as the fire box. The main chamber of the kiln where ceramic pieces are fired. It can house from 3,000 to 5,000 pieces of various sizes at any one time. The pottery are neatly stacked on the shelves on top of each other and separated by warding. A chimney at the tail end where smoke and hot air are released. The stoke holes along the side of the chamber are to feed firewoods, and experienced I can assess the temperature by observing the color of the flame. Above the firebox is an altar. Before each firing, prayers with offerings are always offered to the kiln god to ensure success. The inner wall of the dragon's belly are built in bricks while the outer wall is covered with clay. During the firing process, wood is burned in the fire box until the lower part of the kiln reaches the full temperature. The fire box is then bricked up leaving a small gap. Then side stoking is transferred to the second hole after which the file box is sealed. Air enters the chamber through the stoke holes. Stoking continues until the whole kiln is fired. All the holes are then sealed. The process of firing the kiln is a long drawn out process that can take up to 36 hours. As the kiln reaches a maximum temperature of 1200 to 1300 degrees centigrade, the entire ceramic production could take up to 6 days. After firing, the fired up ceramic products need to be left to cool for a few days. Fly ashes from the wood creates different and unpredictable effects on the fired pieces. This is where wood firing differs from electric and gas kilns. Artists love the surprises which emerge on their finished work. Salt is sometimes thrown in for other effects. Mrs. Yuli and T. Tan, recognized that education of this pottery industry to the public was imperative as she believed that everyone ought to know of the existence and importance of dragon kiln and pottery industry. 当我开始的时候就是我已经经历过了
，所以从那个时候开始，我就觉得说我应该更积极的想，如何呢，把自己也开始烧龙腰吧，有没有？就开始学习，呃，烧龙腰。那么也一般朋友也是很，怎么说呢？也是很 support 我这一个做法。Now. The Dragon Kiln provides a platform for artists and potters to pursue their artistic interests, fueling an understanding and appreciation of the disappearing art of wood firing. Wood firing is something that you will make your whole journey of pottery complete. In fact, there's a lot of other uh, uh, kind of important skill as well in uh, this form of art. Uh, pottery, really, when you are doing it, right, you are in your own world. It's just like sketching. I sketch a lot. After five minutes or one minute into sketching, you're in your own world. Even people stand around you, you, you will not be bothered. So it's the same as pottery, you know. When you are doing the work, you are actually into your own world and all that. Your imagination just go wild. So um, that part, I think, we enjoy most. And also when you kind of like take a break and then you talk to friends, there are things to share. Uh, I think that one, probably when you're pursuing any form of art, you understand that kind of feeling. Uh, it's a good feeling. So I want to keep that, you know. And I think it has been propelling me uh, in my life all this while uh, with my activities. The good thing is the family is very encouraging. The family is very generous to allow us, a group of artists, to come here and do work. Yeah, so, so it has been a long-term relationship. I've been here since, I think, early 2000. Uh, my own philosophy is, and I think growing up uh, in a kampong, uh, I'm not too far away from nature. So nature is uh, important in terms of uh, the spiritual growth, I think. The solace that you can find in a natural environment and you can grow in the spiritual sense. Actually, I have not had any experience with this long yard. I think that what I think of is what I think of. For example, some types of plants, maybe a flower plant or a bigger plant. I think that I think that some of these things can be used as a plant. I think that some of these things can be used as a plant. I think that some of these things can be used as a plant. I think that some of these things can be used as a plant. I think that some of these things can be used as a plant. 呃，除了保留自己的传统，他们也尝试，就是不断的尝试在创新，甚至制作成一个乐器。我觉得这个跟我们鼎艺团非常相似。虽然我们保留我们的呃华乐的传统，我们也就是大家都在尝试到创新。In 2013, new blood of the Tan family, Stella Tan stepped in to help out with the business, as she hopes to pass on the legacy and tradition of Dragon Kiln to more generations. This is being passed down by my grandpa, and why the second generation want to hold on to the root, this and that? Why, why do they holding on to the their father business lah? So they actually taught me that you need to in sui si yuan lah, and also always hold on to the root that is passed down by my grandpa, and also taking this opportunity to spread to our future generation is very important because without them. We don't have now, and also um, you can never find traditional culture. It's slowly fading, lah. We always say, always say that it's dying art, but I just want to be stubborn and hold on to it instead of letting the technology taking over to our current situation, lah. So I want to strongly standing strongly stand firm on my decision on holding on to it. So that I can spread to more people, and younger generation get to see the first-hand experience with the dragon kiln, and watch how how people in the past they create dragon kiln, how they have that knowledge to create dragon kiln, so that potters get to fire their art pieces, instead of letting the electrical kiln or technology to take over this tradition. Although the kiln have long since been retired from commercial operation replaced by newer and less labor-intensive electrical kilns, they were restored in 2001 after the national authorities recognized the historical value and deemed the dragon kiln as part of our national heritage. Today, the dragon kiln stands, 
as a cultural icon to educate younger generations on the traditions and heritage of Chinese culture. Keeping the flame alive in Singapore's hidden dragon, 